Hi everyone, welcome to the Muster Drill. I'm Scott, and there is so much happening with Carnival this week. It's a Carnival Palooza. Hi everyone, welcome back. So there is so much happening with Carnival this week. It's a Carnival News Palooza. So before I get started with everything that's happening with Carnival this week, I wanted to just say how excited I am that this is gonna be my last video from the studio for a little while. It feels like I've been in exile these last two months here at home but I had a lot of stuff to take care of and things to do. So I'm really looking forward to getting on the Adventure of the Seas for a five-day cruise to Bermuda. Now, unfortunately, Bermuda is one of the countries that still requires a COVID test, so I've decided I'll be using one of my government tests and I've scheduled an appointment with On Point, hoping that entire process goes well and as smooth as it typically does on eMed. But if it doesn't, I still have an eMed test as a backup. So if you don't know, Carnival had announced a few months ago that due to staffing shortages and supply chain issues that they were going to be making some changes to onboard life. Most notably that Chino del Capitano was not going to be open for dinner. They were going to shave a couple of hours off of the uh, Pizza Pirate or Pizzeria del Capitano, depending on the ship you're on mostly in the wee hours of the morning, like 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. So now Carnival has announced that even though Chino del Capitano will once again be open for dinner, that the change in the hours to the pizzeria as well as some additional changes are going to be permanent. Now, one of the additional changes is there will be no more late night food in the Lido marketplace. There will be a few items that are available at the pizzeria, a pasta, a salad, and I believe a sandwich option as well. Carnival is also shortening the sea day brunch by an hour, so it'll no longer run to 1 p.m. It'll be over at noon now. And if you remember the chocolate extravaganza, the chocolate buffet, well, that's not coming back and neither is tea time. Carnival is also eliminating the free birthday and anniversary cakes that you could request to be served while you were in a dining room or to be delivered to your stateroom. And this next one is gonna be really hard to take. So many people fill out that card for breakfast in the morning and you hang it on your door. And sometime in the middle of the night, they come and they pick it up. And then of course your breakfast is delivered in the morning. Well, guess what? Those are being completely eliminated. No more ordering from that card that you hang on your door. Now everybody has to call room service in the morning. And I don't know about you, but I have had so many instances where I've called room service and it was busy or it just rang for the entire cruise and nobody answered, or at least it, it feels that way. So in any event, no more ordering from that card the night before and simply placing it on the outside of your door. Now everybody has to try to get through to room service in the morning to order that morning coffee. There is going to be a lot of cranky people, let me tell you. And then the last thing that they have decided that they are taking away forever will be on the ships that feature an ocean plaza. So that'll be like the Horizon, the Vista, and the Dream class ships, Magic, Breeze, the Dream. There will no longer be the afternoon light fare food items available, which is gonna be a real bummer for a lot of people. So now moving on down the road of disappointment, Carnival also announced that they will not be bringing back the Harry Chest Contest. Now during the shutdown, John Heald conducted one of his famous polls and although there were a lot of people who enjoyed the Harry Chest Contest and see it as a Carnival classic, there were also a lot of people who agreed that 
it could get a little out of hand, rowdy, and maybe even a little bit inappropriate at times. And, you know, with all of the kids and stuff on the ship, that's probably not a great thing. So Carnival has decided that they're going to do away with it. But they'll still have Red's Challenge, Guess That Groove, as well as Pool and Deck Games. And there's always room to develop something in the future. Now, no one likes being the bearer of bad news, but unfortunately, with all of the fanfare that the recent announcements that the cruise testing was going away for sailings that were five days or less, unfortunately, there's been some clarifications that came out that really have put a damper on the excitement of this news. Now, we all know that most shorter cruises, three and four days, are going to the Bahamas. And unfortunately, the Bahamas is one of those countries that's still going to require everyone, regardless of the length of the cruise, to test negative before they get on board. Now, joining the Bahamas is the island of Grand Cayman, as well as Bermuda and Canada. And it was a real bummer for me because I'm about to get on a Bermuda cruise and I'm going to have to test. So... Yeah, I mean, so a lot of people have been really celebrating and really been excited about this, you know, announcement that the testing was going away. So whether your cruise is only going to the Bahamas or it's going to multiple places and the Bahamas is one of them, you're still going to have to test. Oh, wait. <laughs> Scratch that last thing I said. Carnival has decided to change the policy again. So as you can see from this screenshot on August 3rd, that the Bahamas and Grand Cayman are listed along with Bermuda as requiring a test regardless of how long the cruise is. And then this screenshot from just two days later on August 5th, the Bahamas and Grand Cayman are missing. And it really makes sense because this policy applies to short cruises and it would be almost impossible to find a short cruise that doesn't stop at the Bahamas. Now, the last bit of bad news today is that Carnival announced that they will be dry docking the Paradise in October of 2023. So that unfortunately, that means that all those sailings have been canceled. Now, no word as to what's going to happen to the Paradise during the dry dock, if it's just standard maintenance or if they're going to be doing any renovations or improvements. And of course, those people whose cruises have been canceled, I'm sure will be rebooked on other cruises or they'll receive full refunds. My guess is that it's just standard maintenance because it is a fantasy class ship. She's been around a long time and I'm sure she needs some work. And now to the brighter side of the Palooza. If you didn't know, Carnival had partnered with a Florida based brewer called Brew Hub to develop these unique and special beers just for their cruise ships. Special beers come either under the Thirsty Frog or Parched Pig name, most recent one being the Birthday Brew for Carnival's 50th birthday celebration. And I think it's been a big hit because I've seen a lot of people drinking that Birthday Brew on my last couple of Carnival cruises. So August 5th is International Beer Day and Carnival has released Fleetwide their latest version of their specialty beer known as the Parched Pig Beach Lager. Now, I'll be doing a Canadian cruise in September on the Carnival Magic, and although Canada is not exactly a beach destination, I am looking forward to trying this latest version of the Parched Pig beer series. And finally, Carnival announced that they are going to be rolling out some energy saving upgrades to the entire fleet. Now, most notably, these upgrades are expected to save Carnival over $150 million a year in fuel costs alone. Now, these upgrades are all part of Carnival's sustainability plan, and they expect to be carbon neutral by 2050. I think it's awesome news, and I am thrilled that Carnival and all of its sister lines are committed to keeping the oceans clean and safe. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. You click it once and you're done and it'll really help us out a lot. And then don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.